All right, here we go. Ready to go into my first class. It's with uh, Professor Sullivan, and uh, he teaches chemistry and microbiology. He has a master's, and I was just looking inside. It's great because it's like a nice small class. A lot of schools you go to, they have these big, humongous lecture halls, and you kind of get lost in there. But this way, you get to meet, you know, get to really know the professors and the other students. So I'm really excited, a little nervous, but let's go. They have all these technical names. Sea cucumber, Echinoderma tata, whatever, Hakuna matata. This is the one that grosses me out the most. I remember doing that. Oh, cops. Very gross, but interesting things in here, in the skulls. All right, this is gonna be so cool. I'm getting ready for my uh, chemistry lab with uh, Professor Sullivan. And it's so beautiful in here. Like they have everything's like state of the art. They have three brand new um, labs that just opened in the fall. And they actually have uh, new technology with where you can do use the computers to do virtual dissections. And they have this really cool thing, which is, uh, it's called the hood, where you can do all these like explosives for uh, forensic science. So I'm excited for that. So let's get ready to experience. So what we're going to do today is appreciate how much energy is in regular old table sugar. So we take in sugar in, as an energy source in things like candy bars and candy and things like that, and it gives us a boost of energy. Now our bodies actually take that sugar and convert it into chemical energy that our cells will use to survive. Okay? But in this reaction we're actually going to combust sugar and it's going to give off a lot of heat and a lot of light, which will be basically the same energy that we would take in. So this will allow us sort of a visual demonstration of exactly how much energy is in sugar. So why don't we go over to the hood. So the first thing we're gonna do is take a teaspoonful of regular old tab table sugar, which I have here in this beaker. All right, go ahead and put it in our crucible, which is heat resistant, because this will be a pretty explosive reaction. Ooh, cool. And the next thing we're gonna do is add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay, it's gonna start the reaction. Okay. Now, everyone has their goggles on, right? All right. I'll All right. Tank, yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> it's a little violent. Okay. All right, we ready? Yep. Ooh. Whoa. Very cool. And there we go. Nice, pretty purple flame. Ooh, I'm never eating candy again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just left over with some black carbon. Mm -hmm. 